Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. Today's video is a follow-up. If you haven't seen the other video on Cezanne, do check that out because you'll understand this much more. <laughs> uh, so I bought something that didn't quite fit and I really liked it. So I got the other size, but I also got another couple of bits that I'm going to show you as well. So this is uh, Cezanne unboxing and try on spring 2024 part two. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. And also some of you made suggestions about an item of clothing from Cezanne that you loved and I went ahead and got it. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the community here. And of course, welcome back to all the regular subscribers. And I wanna say a special thank you to those of you who are supporting the channel in a financial way through Super Thanks. It really does help the channel keep going. So that is very much appreciated and it certainly doesn't go unnoticed. If you're new here, you may not know that I have a range of online courses to help you refine your personal style. And of course you can work with me one-to-one -one, online or in person on a range of style consultations, including color consultations, body shape consultations, shop your wardrobe consultations, and much, much more. You can check out all the information down below Below in the description. Now let's get going with today's video. So here's the new box that I have not opened yet. So once again you're getting my first reactions to what's going on inside the lovely boxes of Cezanne. Just got my nails done I'm hoping I don't ruin them now by... oh yeah here we go. Okay let's see what we've got in here. Obviously I know <laughs> what's in here uh, but I'm hoping that everything works out this time. It'd be great to have 100% success rate. Look at the lovely packaging. There's always a lovely scent to the items as well. I don't know if you've noticed that about ordering from Cezanne. They have a particular scent that they use and um, it's very nice. I like it, I appreciate it. Okay, so for those of you who have seen the other Cezanne video, you'll know that I got the Pepe dress which a lot of you said was really nice on, um, and I could see that visually in the camera, it looked great, but how it felt on me was, it just felt too small and I wouldn't have ended up wearing it. So now I've got the medium and I'm hoping that this is going to be a better fit. Um, I think it's gonna be because, you know, where I tend to struggle is around my waist. Um, I do have, to have a defined waist and so I need something to kind of cinch in there. This dress has a belt, uh, so even if the other parts are a little bit bigger, that's okay, I kind of need that. And then something to cinch in at the waist. So I'm looking forward to trying the medium on and seeing how we get on with that. Now I did say I added another couple of items to the cart. One of you said in the comments that in terms of the jeans, you love the, the brute sexy jeans. And I had looked at them so many times because they look so good in the models, but um, I wasn't so sure how they might look on me. So I said, you know what? I'd like to try the these jeans and see how they go. So again, I got the 38. I, I'm pretty kind of, that's pretty safe zone for me in the 38. I generally need a belt because of the waistline. So we'll see if these are a slightly different fit. So I went for the, I think it's called an indigo, yes, an indigo wash in the Brute Sexy. Yeah, they're a straight leg, so, you know, nothing fancy, <laughs> just classic. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying those on and seeing how it works out. And I got a simple, plain, white cotton t-shirt and I got it in a small. So it did, it, they always give size recommendations in terms of we recommend you size up or size down or go for your regular size. So they did say size down in the t-shirt. So I thought a small will probably be fine for me. And you know, again, there's nothing fancy about these. You can get them, um, what do you call it, embroidered with like initials or a name or a heart or something. I didn't go for that. I just went for a plain white tee. Um, I think, 
you really can't go wrong with a plain white tee and the wardrobe, apart from if you're very warm in your features, you may wish to go for something cream or ecru or something like that. If you're on the cool side, white is good. So this is gonna be great for the jeans and um, just basically, you know, every day. A white t-shirt is such a versatile piece, especially if you add on some jewelry and things like that. You can really dress it up as well and make it look more than a t-shirt. So let's have a try on and see how these work out. Okay, I've just put the jeans on and I didn't realize that the in the details, it's actually a button closure. So they're actually kind of fiddly for me. And uh, apart from anything else, a straight leg, it just doesn't work for me. I was really hoping they would, but um, I'll show you. I haven't even buttoned them up to the full um, buttons, you see. Um, but they are, I can imagine them being a really good fit on somebody who has, like, I'm quite full in the legs. So um, something with a little bit more of a stretch, a little bit more elastane in the fabric composition works well for me, or indeed, you know, if they're a wide leg, then, you know, I can get away with less elastane, but these are just not, not doing it for me, I'm afraid. I get that they're a beautiful cut of jean, they are a stunning jean, they're just not for my shape. Um, somebody who's kind of full in the legs, somebody who has kind of slimmer legs, I can imagine them being absolutely beautiful, but they're just not working for me. <laughs> so here is the cotton t-shirt, and just to show you the length of sleeve, this is the full length of the sleeve here. On this side, I've turned it up, um, because that's probably how I would wear it. But I think it's a beautiful, simple wardrobe staple that I am absolutely gonna keep. Um, I like how it's tucked in here and kind of a, a looser fit. So just to remind you, it is a small, on top, I'd be somewhere between UK t uh, 8 to a 10, a US 4 to a 6, I believe. And just to give you an idea of the length of the t-shirt, so it's not particularly long. Um, I do have a long torso, so on somebody who has a shorter waist, obviously it will look longer on you. Uh, but it's quite a straight cut, so if you're looking for something more fitted, this is, you know, it's not the t-shirt for you, unless you intend on doing what I'm doing where you tuck in and that gives you the bit of shape. But this is a great t-shirt, it feels nice and cool. Um, I can imagine it working great on those hotter days. And I would say I'll end up getting one in every color. Like I had my eye on the black and the navy as well. Um, I think they would, you know, be super in the wardrobe as well. So yeah, very happy with the t-shirt. Now for that dress, let's go. Okay, so I have the dress on. You'll remember from the last video that um, when I put on the small, even getting my head through the neck hole was a bit of a struggle. <laughs> I don't feel like I have a particularly big head, but uh, yeah, it was a struggle. It wasn't the case with this uh, medium. So this definitely feels a lot better. It doesn't feel like I'm kind of tugging it down. The slit on the side of the leg let me just tilt you down a little bit so you can see. Uh, the slit on the side of the leg, it's still quite high, but because there's just a little bit more give in the fabric, it doesn't feel that, um, it doesn't feel like I'm kind of exposed in the same way I was in the small fit. There's a much better flow to this. I've probably tied it tighter than the design is for on the waistline, because as I said, I do have, um, a defined waist and so if I was to tie it just as it is designed to be tied which I'd say is just about there you know it it doesn't hug me on the waist and that's you know a point at which I like to highlight so just a little bit of a tighter knot you know solve that issue and I still think it works really nicely so this is going to be uh, this is staying with me the t-shirt staying with me the jeans um, I'm happy I tried them. Uh, for my body shape, they, they don't work. I can imagine them working on someone else really nicely. Um, I am loving my Le Crop jeans. <laughs> there we go. We have another two out of three in this case. Those jeans will be going back. But um, I'm very happy with the sizing up in the dress and the size small in the t-shirt works pretty well. And I'll certainly be getting more colors in those.
That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like that video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye bye.